Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to talk about the Trezor Model T. It's actually the biggest model Trezor offers and much larger than the Trezor Model 1. It can hold over well 1000 coins and tokens and it's open software, has touchscreen and is an offline wallet. An offline wallet stores your crypto away from the exchanges which can get compromised. So you should store your coins definitely offline. Today we show you everything from unboxing a Trezor T, getting the software on your computer and getting your first crypto on the Model T. So let's start with the unboxing. In front of me, we have the Trezor T, which is completely sealed away. So let's open it up. If you get a model which is not sealed, then please return it back and contact Trezor immediately to get a new one. Opening up the Trezor Model T, we see we have some instructions inside to follow along to set up your Trezor model. First, we have to connect the Trezor to the, our computer or smartphone, open up the Trezor.io start page in the web browser and then follow the instructions and then sleep tight. <laughs> Opening up, we see we have the Trezor in the first display and very important is if this seal is broken or removed, then again, uh, send the Trezor back to Trezor and get a new one because someone could have compromised your device before or used it before and then your crypto could be in danger. Next to the Trezor we have a little box with probably some instructions and stickers. Let's open it up. In the box we find some Trezor stickers, some Love Bitcoin stickers, a getting started instruction manual for the Trezor T and then two seed phrase papers where you can store your 24 or 12 word seed phrase uh, to recover your wallet. Important to know is these 12 words are the words you never can lose and should never lose because otherwise you will lose your entire wallet. So these 12 words symbolize pretty much your wallet on the blockchain. So an offline wallet is created actually on the blockchain and it stores your crypto on the blockchain and not on the small device. So the crypto is not, or the tokens are not stored on this little device, that's important to learn. They are stored on the blockchain and these 12 words which you will write down in this little piece of shaper which should not be displayed anywhere, not online, you should not store it online, not save it online, don't take photos of it, store it on a hard copy and then with that you can recover your wallet in case someone steals this little device, you lose this little device, you can restore it just by a new device, enter the 12 words and then you get your wallet back. And we have a little cable, USB-C to USB-A, which you can connect your Trezor to your computer. And next to that, we have a little magnetic dock. So you can pretty much attach it to somewhere and then you can attach the Trezor to it. So it's a little magnetic dock to keep your device in place. So you can keep it next to your desk or on the side or wherever you want to place it. And then the device will hang onto it while you have it plugged in with your cable. That's that's a very cool feature. And on the bottom of the package, we see the fourth tip of Trezor bonus, place the magnetic dock anywhere to hold your device. And that's pretty much everything we have. Now we will go and go into the Trezor website and then download the software and set up our Trezor wallet. All right, now we are on the official Trezor website. The official Trezor website is trezor.io, but we will link this down in the description so you can safely browse to this website. Also bookmark this website so you don't go to any fishy websites. Only use the official websites to install software or buy products. On the website you can see the different products Trezor uses. So they have the Model T, they have the Model 1 and they have the Trezor Safe 3. We have different videos on those topics too, how we unbox and install them if you're interested in those. There are different softwares for different devices, so you can use it for your MacBook, you can use it for your Windows, for Linux, also for mobile devices. Whatever you're using, download the shooting software so you can connect your Trezor device to your device and then we can start setting it up. In our case, we are using a MacBook, so we load the MacBook M1 software and install that. i done that already, so we don't have to wait for installation and we can directly dive into it. Now is the time to take your cable and connect your Trezor wallet to the computer. To connect your Trezor wallet, you have to first remove the little seal on the bottom, which indicates that this Trezor wallet hasn't been used yet. It is actually very hard to remove and you will see if someone tried removing it, then again, contact Trezor as soon as possible and get a new device, because it might be compromised. 
Now, since we have removed it, you will see there's a little USB-C plug and this will be now connected to our computer. I have a long cable here, it's a different one, which is USB-C to USB-C, but of course you can use the one from the box as well. Once you connect to the thread of the device, you will hear a little click, so push it well all the way in. And we have our Trezard setup. On the start page, we see welcome, go to trezor.io slash start. Or we can continue in our Trezor suite. Now we're getting the instructions on the Trezor suite with the Model T, device security check. And they ask you if the package wasn't tempered, if the seal wasn't broken. So basically all I told you already. And we can set up our Trezor since nothing was broken or ripped off. And then we have to install the firmware. So install the firmware. We'll wait a little bit for that. And we will see on the Trezor as well that the firmware is installing. The firmware is installed and we can proceed now by clicking the green check and continue. Also on the Trezor wallet, you will see with a green tick that the firmware was installed correctly. Now here, if you had a Trezor wallet before, then you can recover your wallet with the 12 words I showed you already in the little paper here. You have to note them down well, because once you lose them, you will lose your wallet access as well. In our case, we will set up a new wallet, so we go to create new wallet. There are two options. You can either choose the standard seal backup, which is the 12 words, or the advanced Samir backup, which is a much more complex way for the seed phrase and is very, very secure, but we're gonna use the standard seed backup because this is, for the most cases, enough. All right, now we have to go to into a Trezor and confirm that we want to create a wallet. Simply click the green box, create wallet. With the Trezor T, it's very nice that it has a touch screen, so you can actually tip on the little device. All right, our wallet's almost ready. All we have to do now is create a backup. The backup is our seed phrase, so our recovery phrase. Your recovery seed wallet backup lets you recover your funds in case your treasure is lost or damaged. Told you that before. Never take a picture or make a digital copy of your backup. Told you that as well. Store your recovery phrase or seed phrase securely and never share it with anyone. It's very important to read that. That's why I'm reading out that loud. Okay, let's begin the backup. Creating a backup. Never make a digital copy of your seed and never upload it online. That's stated on the Trezor one more time. The way they emphasize it twice and triple is that you really understand once you lose this, you lose all your funds. Now we take the piece of paper, the pen and our Trezor and write down all the seed phrase words. There are 12 in total or you can also write it down on a piece of paper or maybe on a steel plate in case your house catches fire. There are many different ways people do that or put it in a safe. Just make sure to write down the 12 words. Once you wrote down all your 12 words, you have to hold to confirm on the Trezor and then it will pop up green and the Trezor will reconfirm that you actually wrote down the words. So it will ask you, my Trezor is asking right now, select one of 12 words you have on the display. So I have to look at my piece of paper and then see which of the words is number one of the 12 and then select it on the Trezor. Now we have to select number five and select it on the Trezor. And then the last word, select it one more time. Okay, you have finished and verified your recovery seat. So they confirm we know the words and we continue now. Use your backup when you need to recover your wallet, your backup is done, continue. All right, the software, the suit also tells us the backup is successful. Now we need to continue to create a pin. The pin is important because if someone finds a wallet and your computer and they both don't have a pin, then it can access your treasure and move your funds. It's basically like knowing your credit card pin and then just start using it. So you have to set up a pin, make it long, make, it, make sure you remember it because that's the only way you can access your treasure wallet. If you forget your pin, then you have to re-import your seed phrase and then give it a new pin. All right, the Trezor wallet is asking us if we want to set a pin, confirm on the Trezor wallet, and now we can enter our pin in the Trezor wallet. Then after that, we have to reconfirm our pin. So they double check that we still remember it. And once you double confirmed your pin, then you will get a message. You have successfully enabled pin protection. We click continue. 
click continue in the suit and we have set up our Trezor wallet successfully. Now you see the interface of the Trezor suit. We have Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. As I said before, the Model T is one of the biggest models and they support well over 1000 coins and tokens. So there should be everything you have. Let's complete the setup. Uh, activate coins. We're gonna use Ethereum blockchain and we'll transfer some funds over there. So it pre-selects for your Bitcoin. We will pre-select as well Ethereum and then complete the setup. The setup is now complete. You can edit the name of your treasure. So let's say this is the coin tracking treasure. So we name it coin tracking and have edited the name. All right. We have to confirm again on the treasure the name change. So we click the green tick and our settings have been successfully changed. It is important to know that everything you do with your treasure, you will have to confirm it as well on the little device as confirmation. Now let's click access suit to get our, to our portfolio, to our dashboard. And you have the option to create a standard wallet or a hidden wallet. A hidden wallet is a wallet with one more extra security layer where you have to enter a passphrase. So every time you want to enter your hidden wallet, you have to enter the passphrase. All right, we are now in our dashboard and we see our wallet is ready to use. So finally, we can send some crypto to it. Um, let's see. On accounts, we can see if we have any crypto in it and we see Bitcoin zero, Ethereum zero, there's nothing yet. And we need to re click receive to receive Ethereum. Now we see here our Ethereum address. We need to show the full address so we can see where we need to send the crypto to. In our case, down below here, we can see our address. We need to copy this one and then we'll go into our MetaMask and send our funds from MetaMask to our wallet. So click MetaMask and then we will see, okay, here we have 2000 Tether in our wallet and some gas fees. Let's go back and copy our full address of the MetaMask of the Treasure T wallet, copy, and then click send in MetaMask, enter the public key, select your CT, and let's say we are sending 100 USDT to this wallet. Then you will see the gas price. We click next. We see how much gas price is to send the transaction. And then we can confirm. Now we see that the transaction is pending in our MetaMask and once it is confirmed on the blockchain, then we will see it in our treasure. Now we see that we have the USDT transaction here in our treasure, so we received 100 USDT. If you want to check your tokens on the Ethereum network, then simply go from overview to tokens and then we see USDT, Tether US, 100 USDT in your account. This is pretty much everything you need to know about your Trezor T. If you're interested in a different wallet or comparing the Trezor T to the Ledger and so on, please check out the other videos linked up here. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, we will happily answer them. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye.